Well, the Biden administration and abortion rights advocates are pushing back on so-called trigger laws that take effect this week. The new laws nearly ban abortions in several Republican-led states across the country. In two of those states, the Biden administration faces clashing rulings related to protecting the lives of pregnant women. In Tennessee, abortion rights advocates are sounding off. We will not be quiet. Tennessee is one of four Republican-led states with laws taking effect Thursday to severely limit abortions, now two months after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade. That little one is just as much human as you or I are. The reality is, is, is that patients are scared. Doctors are scared. For now, Idaho can only partially enforce its trigger law after a federal judge ruled doctors can end a pregnancy to help save a mother's life or health at hospitals that accept Medicare funding. The Biden administration, which brought the Idaho challenge using the Emergency Medical Treatment and Active Labor Act, praised the decision, saying it will prevent serious harm to women. We're going to be com committed uh, to restoring the protections of Roe. But another judge in Texas blocked federal guidance regarding emergency abortion services. The state's law, which bans the procedure as soon as a fetal heartbeat is detected, does have an exception for the life of the mother. But legal experts say it's ambiguous. There's not a clear definition of what exactly that is and what is going to fall in that category. And so that leaves medical providers in a real predicament. Meanwhile, North Dakota's trigger law could take effect on Friday, pending an ongoing legal challenge. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.